Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So Google has finally launched their first beta of their next Android version, Android 12. And this time Google have made some really big changes in the UI and also brought some really cool features alongside. In this video, we will be taking a look at all the new changes Android 12 brings and also tell you how I managed to install it on my Poco Android Pro. So the first big change is the notification panel. Notification now looks clean and are much better separated. We also have this rounded corners all over the place which does look fresh and modern. Now with every iteration, Google is trying to make the notification clutter free. With Android 11, they made a separate section for notifications like notification from conversation apps and mailing app is displayed at the top. In Android 12, you can now prioritize some of the conversation of your choice. By prioritizing the conversation, you will get the notification from the sender at the top of the screen. Also, you can see the profile picture of the person in the status bar whenever there is any message from the sender. You can even create a custom widget for that particular person in the home screen so you can access that particular chat directly from the home screen. The quick toggle panel remains unchanged since Android 5 Lollipop but now in Android 12 we get some really bigger changes. Toggles are now bigger and also have rectangular shape with rounded edges. Brightness slider is also redesigned. Although I kinda hate it, maybe if it was a bit thinner it would look better. Same is the case with the volume controls. It looks quite thick and hopefully it will get better design in the final release. Also, if we switch to the dark mode, we can see the new smooth transition similar to one found in the iOS. In the IO event, Google had talked a lot about its redesigned widgets, but sadly, there isn't anything new in this build and most likely it will be pushed in the later updates. Now if you go into widget setting, you can see the page is redesigned. Now at the top you get some widget suggestion and all the other widgets can be accessed from the bottom half. If you look at some other widgets I placed at the home screen, you will notice that you get the similar rounded corners treatment on every widget like the other UI elements. Lock screen is also changed a bit. Now time is much bigger and is positioned at the center and when there is some notification it is shifted upward also you get really cool transition animation on switching to aod or connecting the charger both of these is not working on the m2 pro as it has an lcd display and also because of charging issues in this board on poco and pro now the settings app is also changed a bit and it's a lot more inspired from the one ui also if you can see there is a glitch effect on taps which kinda look weird and I think it will be removed in the stable build. Now if you go on to Wi-Fi settings you will see the new toggle button which looks more modern and fresh and currently it's only present under Wi-Fi settings and most likely it will be made available in the final release. Also if you see there is a bouncy effect at the end of the page which looks much more intuitive and responsive. Here's a side by side comparison with the Android 11 and as you can see, it looks much better in Android 12. We also get some couple of new gesture options like long press the power button to enable Google Assistant, swipe down in the navbar to trigger one handed mode and you can find all these options under gestures in system settings. Now there are still a lot of interesting features coming up in Android 12 like wallpaper based theming and privacy features. We will also be getting the newly redesigned Google apps so there are still a lot more features are yet to come and I am really excited to test them out in the future builds. Now if you are eager to know how I managed to install Android 12 on my Poco M2 Pro, well thanks to the awesome developer support for the Mi at all series. They had ported this Android S ROM from the Pixel 4a. Now if you are willing to install it on your phone, it's as simple as flashing any other ROM. Wipe data and flash the ROM zip file. Now there are still few things to note here. So once you flash a ROM, your device will be encrypted. So if you plan to move to other ROM after using this port, you will also need to wipe your internal storage. So I will suggest to back up everything beforehand to avoid any data loss. As for the usage, as you know it's a beta build, you will notice some app crashes and some other glitches. Volti calls, Wi-Fi, hotspot, Bluetooth, everything is working fine. So yeah, 
I won't recommend installing it on your primary device. Okay, that's pretty much it. I hope you liked the video and if you did, make sure to do the neat fools. Until then, my name is Rishav and I will catch you guys in the next one.